NRG versus G2. We get this treat in week two yeah. of the RLCS. And man, what a matchup this is and, and the implications that it has moving forward for yeah. the rest of league play. I mean, how can you express how crazy of a matchup this is? This is the clashing of behemoths of Rocket League. These two teams have been staples since pretty much the beginning of RLCS. They have fought endlessly and they, they're still hungry to keep going and earn that number one spot. Huge rivals. And, and you know, it feels like these teams are dead even yeah. in every single category. There isn't something that you could point to and be like, you know, I feel like they do this a little bit better than G2. I feel like G2 does this a little bit better than NRG. That being said, I still think that there is this this series, I, in my personal opinion, Turtle, comes down to one thing, and that's transitions. Yeah. I think transitions will be the, the deciding factor in this game. We know that G2 like to play aggressively. You know, Gibbs had pointed it out last week that a lot of the time G2, when they're on offense, they're all pushed up past the midfield. Yeah. Line. But they are so good at that. I think Achieves, and Corelli mentioned this, he, he pointed it out this morning, you know, they put themselves in, in a little bit of trouble when, when you play that aggressively. And in my, I think NRG are so good at catching everything on the defensive end. Yeah. Their transitions transition game is so good that it's going to be, you know, a big factor against G2. I mean, this this G2 roster, roster, excuse me, is high risk, high reward play style, and an NRG just stay consistent the whole time. Oh my said, gosh! When you, <laughs> you have JNAPS strikes it right in the middle of the defenders. Justin tries to carry this heads up from Lisa. I didn't, I didn't even see JNAPS. I was on auto cam that whole time. I didn't see him come through and his car just exploded on my screen and puts in just the most high velocity shot you can. And that's why this is going to be back and forth because yes, Justin can catch that off the back wall, but Rizzo is going to be in your face yeah. to set JNAPS up for the play. So 10 seconds in and we already have a goal for G2. I mean, that got my heart going. Taking his time, Garrett just trying to keep it away from JNAPS on the play and Rizzo. Solid touch over to JNAPS G2. Also a strong transition game. Rizzo staying with this and couldn't find the touch. Justin was going for the block yeah. as well. I mean, Gibbs gave Chicago so much love on the desk and we saw a 50% shooting percentage. I mean, he had 16 shots against the Birds. No matter who you're playing against, 50% is something you got to pay attention to with shooting percentage. Let's see if he can do it here. JNAPS with a shot on net, gets it in. The second goal for him. This pass from Chicago. Turbo trying to clear this away, but the touch gets away from him. But that touch by Chicago right to JNAPS. Just perfectly placed. Two goals already for the knapsack in the first minute. So G2. A high-powered offense. Yeah. They scored quickly, and I, I could see Gibbs the whole way on the other desk. He's leaning back, nodding his head. He's like, I told him. <laughs> I told him high-powered. But NRG, I mean, they just got to break out of their own half. Give Justin this ball. It was, it was a debate on the desk. Is it individual players who will shine like Justin and carry this team, or is it all of them working together? Here comes Chicago. Knocked away to the corner, but G2... You know, I, I wasn't trying to knock their aggressive play style. I think it suits them very it's high well. High risk, high reward. I mean, you go for that. It's difficult, but when it works, they, and, they're the best team in Rocket League. And even even if it's high risk, they score so many, of the, so so much of the time. Yeah. That you know, sometimes they let one in, but they've already mounted a lead half the time. So when you're that good on offense, yeah, you can afford to let a couple goals go in. It doesn't matter. But NRG with Garrett finding Justin, his shot blocked by Chicago. Off the post anyway, JNAB's trying to get that one out and Turbo sneaks it by him. Garrett around the corner, Justin wanted that pass but that slight touch by Rizzo puts it over his head. Turbo, pinch, almost a pinch off the ceiling. Kind of rolled out and Chicago will clear this away again. Justin controlling to the back side or to the opposite side and Rizzo's touch did not help G2 at all here. JNAB's trying to get up. Losing to Justin on the touch. Justin back to this. Wants to keep it away from Chicago. He's hunting closely. What a touch. Ooh, good block by Justin. JNAPS keeping that one away. And Whoa. no one can find it. Turbo gets it free. 
off the backboard, breaking down for G2. Servo with great patience. He dribbles basically the whole team. JNAP's trying to get a back pass in, but Chicago was not ready for it. Turbo's going to take advantage of that and put NRG on the board here in this first game. And JNAP's really wanted to keep that ball away from yeah. NRG, and, and you know you like that idea for the back pass, but just a little too much power. Now, I don't think Chicago was ready. Maybe not communicated, but either way, I mean, Turbo, he says, I'm going to take this for free. So NRG take what they're given, but here's Chicago who will oh. score as it bounces off the backboard, and G2 get their insurance right back. I mean, Turbo, the guy who just got the goal, falls a little bit short on defense here. He's not fast enough and misreads the backboard bounce. Chicago punishing the same way that Turbo just did to this G2 defense. Chicago, his first goal. Also the owner of an assist off of a JNAP's goal. Rizzo will take the point. G2 I've been winning this kickoff pretty consistently. Yeah. Every time G2 wins the kickoff, they it's so tough to get by them on offense. They do right here. Justin back to Garrett. Garrett, a great block. But there will be no follow-up as G2 head the other way. It's been G2 on the transition. I said I thought it was NRG who were going to find the advantage yeah. on transition, but it's been exactly the opposite. And Garrett has turbo. They have a net. It's wide open. And now we're within one. Decision making is such a core element with this G2 play style. When you go for the ball as that third man, how aggressive are you going to be? And right here it falls short. Third man decides to go for the ball, and it's an open net just to dribble in. And a one goal game for NRG. Justin grabbing the follow up off the kickoff. It's boom downfield again. And Turbo. He doesn't care what car he plays with. He'll play with... I want to see Turbo play with every car in yeah. the RLCS. That's what, that's what I want the goal. I, I'm still waiting for Roadhog. One day, <laughs> I don't one know day gonna he's going to hop in a Roadhog. I don't know if I want to see that one. That would be beautiful. <laughs> Low bounce off the side wall, and Justin will actually take that downfield. Rizzo, bounce off the ceiling for JNAPS. Demo kills the quick attack. JNAPS gets there quickly against Turbo. Lots of space. And Justin will take it. Fighting Chicago for the ball, it bounces out. JNAP tries to get the time, and everyone is covering everybody yeah. on this pitch. Every single touch, it, it's a jump ball. Justin, taken away by Chicago. Turbo, follow. right past to Garrett, and Garrett tried to find his way past the defense. He at least retains possession here with Justin on the rotation. Justin bounces that off of a G2 car. Turbo, his touch will be favorable for Garrett. Tie game. This gets by everybody off that touch. It bounces up. A misplay from the MVP of the team. Chicago just barely oh. hits it on the roll off. And I don't think either Rizzo or JNAPS had time to react or expect that from Chicago. G2 and, mistakes. I mean, just punishing G2 right now. Yeah, that, that's two huge errors by G2 now. We have a tie game with 30 seconds left. JNAPS can't get back to that touch if he had maybe a lick more boost. Oh, oh fake. good fake. Another Turbo. One. Oh, he almost gets his way by Chicago. Justin's there. Blocked by JNAPS. Justin beat by Chicago. Chicago the other way. That's all he has. The follow up is there. Rizzo on the rotation. Blocked by Turbo. Still in midfield for G2. Trying to test that backboard to buy some time for G2 to grab a little bit more boost. Now they take an aggressive point. JNAPS throws that one up high and away. That's a bounce oh, off the ramp here for here. NRG. Good touch by Chicago. Rizzo wants to play this. Can't get it to the ramp. We got overtime. Rizzo trying to keep that one up in the corner there. But falls short. And now, oh, the kickoff right away. This is the first time we've seen G2 pretty much lose. And lose possession right away. And I'm just waiting on the edge of my seat to see how they push up and where they make that offensive line on the defense end of NRG. Oh, that shot just wide. That was a fast one. Garrett carrying this. He wants Turbo, and he, Turbo gets the demo on the naps but can't find the ball. Justin bumping Rizzo here, but Rizzo has about a second more time. And then makes the challenge against Garrett, slows him down, but here's Garrett off the ceiling. Can't do much with it. G2 meeting NRG at the punch here on the blue half of the field. All the bump. And that will give G2 a chance. But another great clear, no Justin way. jumps on the side wall from the opposite side of the pitch. This is off the backboard, and it will be taken away by Rizzo. I mean, you don't even see Justin in the air at that point. And the pressure is still on for NRG. Jams winning a challenge. And, you know, thankfully they get away 
with Justin's post hit. Oh, Justin, good touch to Garrett. They can't find the net. These things are off the post. NRG, and granted, it's been difficult. G2 are playing great defense. Chicago bounces that out. It's off the ramp, and it's off the post. Chicago, he tried to get that under his car to put it, push it straight in. Just too tight of an angle. Chicago, another clear. Good catch by Justin, and flipped it over Chicago. But still, G2, quick pass. Shot blocked by Turbo. Fast shot from Rizzo. I mean, that was a laser. Turbo with the reaction speed, the prediction in net. Sometimes you just got to jump for it. And he manages to make contact. JNAP's picking up the demo for Chicago to take this. Justin passed the Turbo. Back Looking to for Justin. Justin off the back wall. Has a shot, Turbo. It's off the post. Where's Garrett? There he is, NRG. They take game one. The back and forth, give and go. Turbo to Justin. Justin back to Turbo with a slight post. Miss Chicago couldn't read it enough. And Garrett G follows through with the cleanup. NRG swipped, switched the momentum that G2, you know, caught at the beginning of the series with JNAP's first goal. And, and, and this was such a preventable loss yeah. for G2. They were up 3-1 in this game. They had the lead still late, up by one, and then just that, that mistouch from Chicago. He wanted to clear it out quickly. They were feeling the pressure from NRG, but then that mistouch from Chicago gave NRG the time. Earlier, the net was wide open for NRG to pull it within one. This time, G2 really mistake-free Rocket League in overtime for the most part, and then they get killed yeah. off of off of that bounce on the post, and Chicago just couldn't grab it. I mean, that that's just so demoralizing. The the flip from Chicago trying to get it, his teammates not ready, and they were they were looking fantastic on offense. Rizzo shots, that one laser we saw Turbo get a block. I, mean, yeah. I have no idea how we got a save on that. First just got to jump, baby. <laughs> and then JNAP's the instant shot at the beginning of the match. That was G2, their offense at their peak. But their defense just falling short to these tiny, tiny mistakes that could be fixed up so easily. It's the one thing that, that is the killer for G2 in this series. And they're able to get out to these these leads. Yeah. It's, it's holding those leads that they seem to have issues with when it comes to matchups like this against NRG. That being said, still so close of a series. Tiny mistakes are what makes the difference in, in a series against, as you said, behemoth yeah. like G2 and NRG. So, I mean, I'm, what do you think, I'm, Turtle? I'm, I'm, what do you I'm, think, I, Game 2? That's a wide open question. I think G they have to make up for that. You can't make mistakes like that every single game. I want to see if Chicago can hit that 50% shooting accuracy he had last weekend. And Justin still himself, he's been a bit more quiet, letting Turbo and, and Garrett do some saving, but Justin as well, getting those passing in. G2, start this from midfield. Garrett gets in the way. Just a little pop up for Justin. Back over to Garrett. NRG. Chicago, the only man back here for G2. He gets a solid clear over to Rizzo. And Rizzo knew the whole time Chicago was going to get there. He almost carries it. Into the box. Chicago up for this. Bouncer off. This is dangerous for G2. Rizzo able to get up. Back over to JNAP as well. Handle on the defensive end. Oh, what a end. touch. Demo for Turbo. Gave a little bit of space, but really just opened the way for the clear down the field. So both teams trying to work their way through the gaps. It feels like every single challenge, yeah. just both cars barely finding an advantage. Both players commit Rizzo and Jane Apps on G2 to try to force that in. Chicago, G2. On Energy's corner in both Garrett and Turbo. Well, Getting tied up together, but they still move down the pitch. Justin kind of stuck on top of the ball. Chicago will take the point. I mean, some kickball so far. Back and forth. Nobody really able to maintain possession in either team's half, let alone the corners. And it's that defensive rotation, staying on the walls, staying in that corner to get these great clears in the positioning. And Rizzo, you know, so strong. Taking the midfield boost, things like that help maintain and alleviate any form of pressure. Turbo sees Garrett downfield. Garrett will get a clean look at that touch. Forces JNAPS up, and he does a great job catching and then carrying and finding, or Chicago finding that ball as well. So good team effort. This one cut off by Turbo Pulsa. Rizzo. This is that second hop to get a little more height. Garrett can't find it. Justin. Solid clear. G2 will have to reset. 
touch will be Turbo's. Rizzo a little far up on that play. Now oh, the demo, the demo for Justin. So Turbo gets the demo. Justin scores NRG in early lead. Turbo hunting down the goalkeeper right now. So much confidence. I don't even think he expected Rizzo to miss. He just says, I'm going to turn in here. It's a free demo. Justin takes advantage of it. And they start out with a physical play from NRG. Yeah, on that touch or the Chicago challenge. There it is again. Rizzo a little... Oh, oh, that one off the <laughs> Air dribbles are always so pretty. They're just pretty to look at. <laughs> you just hear us in awe. Yeah. Chicago. That one off the corner and it'll be taken away. G2. Lock him down. There's a good pass over to Rizzo, beating one defender. JNAP's just getting up to that ball. And Rizzo being annoying. I, I've seen him so many times take these full boosts in midfield and in the corner. Not any bumps or physical plays coming out, but trying to starve NRG, who seemed to be unfazed by any of it. And Rizzo will take this as well. I mean, not just Rizzo. We saw Chicago in the back corner as well against NRG. And they're stealing a lot of the boosts. It's forcing NRG in this position where you see them giving G2 space because, like you said, Turtle, they're losing this boost battle yeah. right now. And it, but they have the lead. They're doing well covering the net. And they're able to grab a couple of boosts as well. Now they move back down to G2 territory. But again, playing back on it, Turbo dumps this back down the field. Justin waiting for this touch. He won't be able to get back to it. Chicago tries to clear this out. Garrett has that low against the backboard. Turbo forces it, and he gets another touch. Garrett coming up now against the challenge for Chicago. NRG pressing right now, looking for insurance. Yeah, G2 barely getting to every single shot right now, throwing themselves at the ball. You, you, you like to think any form of starvation on their side of the field and they can't make these challenges at all. But all it takes is one mistake or one transition for G2 to tie this up. Boomer downfield for Rizzo. Rizzo keeps this one high. Chicago grabbing every small patty. Can't get to this in that touch. He was a little too far up onto it. He wasn't able to get up in time. Now Garrett, great job by Rizzo, his third man. Yeah. Boomer downfield. NRG seemed content to just keep booming and <laughs> daring G2 to try to score on them. They've cut off these passes, handled every rebound, about 30 seconds left. NRG, it feels like they almost stole game one away from G2, and now G2 can't seem to get a shot on net in the second half of game two. And we don't really see the aggressive play style, the, the risky midfield passes. Garrett G with an opening, Rizzo, Ooh. what a save from him. And Justin, light tap, forcing Chicago to play it out to the corner. A win from JNAPS but losing to Justin quickly there. JNAP's trying to play it out to the side. G2 are out of time. They have to move downfield. That one, Rizzo tried to catch it out, but the ball bounced up. Turbo read it so well. Kills time. Chicago can't get there. He gets bumped by Turbo. The ball stays in the air. Justin says, enough of that. And NRG one game away from sweeping G2. I mean, I don't know what it was about this second game, but G2, they, they could not connect with each other. They were so bunched up in the midfield. I, I think a big part of that was forcing themselves to get in front of every single shot that NRG was taking. The pressure was there. The dominance on the field was so prevalent. And G2, you throw yourself at the challenge and you gotta force yourself to, ro to rotate back. You don't have time to look for your teammate. And there was a point in this there was a point in this game where G2 were controlling the boost really well and NRG were giving them space, but G2 kept giving them the yeah. ball back. And, and you know, that was the frustrating thing. It's like, G2, you're like, you have the space, don't kick it downfield. And, and Rizzo, I think that's a product of that pressure. He just, at the end there, Rizzo had a chance to do what you're saying, Jorby. Keep the ball close, go for a dribble. He went for the flick, and even then, I don't know who, I think it was Justin, who got the dunk and, you know, kept the pressure forward. So even when they try that, it just seems to fail. One more game for NRG, and they, they might sweep G2 here, but I, I think there's still a lot of great things oh, for definitely. G2. I, I, th this game felt like it got away from them because the, the, the desperation if we got to yeah. move down the field or when they dig it on the offensive half, NRG's defense, I mean, they cut off the angle so many times for G2. They only had four shots on net. Yeah. If you're stopping this offense, you're doing something right. So you got to give credit to this NRG and defense. I think a big part of that could be their, their ability to read midfield passes. You see G2, their game plan, always look midfield, try and get an infield pass. NRG, if they push themselves up, get into that space that G2 loves to abuse, that can be a problem and force them to go for these solo plays. We'll see. Can G2 right this ship now? A 3-0 sweep would be massive. This is contention for top two. Yeah.
between these two teams. So every game matters. JNAPS kicks this away. Rizzo already feeling the pressure from NRG here. Chicago downfield. Does he have another touch? That one's going to be high up and two members up now. Justin jumping as well. Turbo on the transition. Low bounce off the wall and it will be taken away by Chicago. G2 would have liked to play some offense there, but Chicago <laughs> ended up completely misreading where that ball was headed. Yeah. Rizzo did grab the ball, but it's cut off by Turbo in midfield. This is what NRG did well in game number two. And I'm trying to pay attention right now to Rizzo and where he's really trying to fit himself into the field. If he's going to push up, be aggressive, or is he going to fall into this passive state that we've seen so much? Right there is a great challenge for him. Want to see him be aggressive and fuel, you know, that, that risky play style from G2. Rizzo was blocked by Turbo. The pass cut off by JNAPS. And now Rizzo, our G2 oh, moved down the field, but then again blocked. And Gary G, he's pushing himself forward right there. He's saying, you know, I know G2. I know you guys love to do these infield passes. Let me put myself in that spot, in that position. Wherever the space is of the pass, I want to be in there. And Gary G doing a great job of acknowledging that. A great understanding of, of what's going to happen next yeah. for NRG. They, they've really... Since, since game two, like game one was very back and oh. forth, but this right now, it, it feels like it's all NRG. G2 struggling to clear this ball out. Rizzo forced to get back to this around the corner. Even when they're on defense, G2 want to push up. They're just waiting for that quick transition. Chicago forced back again. Turbo just waiting, and he pops it up and gives a Justin dog. a chance at the challenge. I mean, Justin, he's, he goes up for that, knowing full and well he's going to lose his speed to the ball and goes for the dunk. He gets a perfect prediction. Now let's see Turbo here on the defensive end. What a read, but here comes Rizzo with the shot. Oh, too light. Rizzo, it was a tough angle to hit. And even a, even forcing a double commit out of NRG, but a good save in Rizzo. Couldn't get back to that touch. Justin has a pass oh. to Turbo. Justin. <laughs> one nothing NRG. I mean, at what point is this even a pass? I think he just out. Paced JNAP so well. What a touch. Behind him, perfectly past the turbo. Just for the, the, the finesse. Like, it doesn't have to be yeah. some kind of crazy mechanical touch. It's just the, the, the finesse with which he was able to turn his car back and kind of roll it off of off of his, like, pretty much between the wheel and the bumper. Giving it just the right amount of touch for, J or for Turbo Pulsa. Picks up a goal here for NRG, and they have a lead halfway through game three. Justin dumps that one out. G2. Trying to oh, figure out. Commit. Oh, and JNAPS, he gets the, the demo. Do they have the goal? Oh, no. Oh, my. No. You have the space and the time. What are you doing? <laughs> Chicago, he tried to force it in. Oh. That was the opportunity. They had the demo even off of the miss hit. It was wide and open. they just couldn't squeeze it in. They even had time. Rizzo was there. <laughs> if anything, you could at least give it back to JNAPS either way. Jorma, you're slamming your hands on the desk here. <laughs> I can feel the frustration, and you can only imagine that's probably multiplied by 10 if you're on this side of G2. And I mean, you can understand, you can understand Chicago there. You really felt like he had it, and, and you're feeling the yeah. the lack of offense after NRG have just stopped everything. This is a good block from Chicago. Let's see if he can do something against Justin here, who had to wait for that touch. Gary G gets this out, but oh. only for a second. Rizzo can't. I mean, you got to find some better of, of a contact with the ball if you're Rizzo right there. He could have popped it up over the goal line. Look for any backward pass, and still he just falls short, hitting it to the side. Bounce off the corner. Demo for the second man. Gives a little bit of space. Chicago only buys a little bit of time. Justin, weak shot. It doesn't matter. It goes in. NRG, huge insurance goal against G2. Turbo in the corner doing a good job of forcing it towards the net. Chicago just can't get a solid clear, and nobody from the defensive side of, of G2 is expecting that, and the rotation is too slow to come in. A minute 10 left. And if the score line holds, if this lead holds, G2 will be swept by NRG. And, you know, we had a lot of talk yeah. about this NRG team, how big this roster move was to get Turbo Pulsa moving to North America. What does he add to this roster? Maybe a week, uh, a week, week one, if you will, for Turbo. Yeah. But he's scored but more than a couple of times. That's what they need. And here comes another chance for Justin, an open net. He doesn't even shoot, he takes it to Turbo. 
And it was a tough, it was a tough angle yeah. for Justin if he wanted to find this shot. Instead, Turbo serves up Garrett perfectly. Garrett has G2 beat right there, and, and Turbo is like, I'm here. And I'm I here. love the decision making. Justin is the striker for NRG, and even he notices it's a difficult shot. Let me go for the pass. Doesn't let any of that striker mentality get involved with his decision making. And, and the quickness from Garrett on that play yeah. as well. Like Turbo, Turbo punches that up, but Garrett was ready for it the whole way, and he beat the G2 defender. I think it was JNAPS who had to leap up for that. And he couldn't find the touch. This game, this whole series started out so strong for G2. They came yeah. out to a huge... They almost gave me a heart attack with that first goal. Yeah. And then now they're just slowing it down. And it seems like, like you said, Jorby, I want to reiterate, Turbo, what does he add the first weekend? Not the best performance, but that's what... Energy doesn't need everybody to pop off at the same time. Conserve your energy, wait for it. And I didn't even mean to make a pun there, but it works. <laughs> it's okay. Back up high. The corner played out. This game is over. NRG take the top spot in North America at the end of week two. And what a performance in those back two games. Did not let G2 have anything. Yeah. G2 this got away from them in game one. And got got to go back to the drawing board. They got some work to do. I mean, that, that was a stellar performance from everybody on NRG Esports. The defense pushing up. Intercepting, we barely saw any of the classic G2 infield passing. We didn't see a lot of their signature moves using each other. And, and, and you know, part part of that, if NRG were just so good at cutting off their yeah, passes. Yeah, exactly. They know that that's what they're up against. Yeah, and so G2, they, ha they have to adapt. So it's like, okay, well, we just have to throw ourselves at this ball because NRG are literally at every single touch. And, and NRG won those bouts time and time again. So, our first big three matchup. And what do you who think? Have, who would have think? expected it? I mean, NRG. Corelli, he said, he said, I don't know who I'm going to take. I, it's, NRG just a little it's a bit. Now, now it's a 3-0, a huge sweep for NRG. Everybody thought it was going to be a close game. And G2, like you said, are back at the drawing board trying to figure out where it went wrong. And, you know, game two was close. Game one was close. But G2 had that two-goal lead. They blew it. Yeah. They, they couldn't get anything going in game two. They had four shots on net in game two. Four. G2. <laughs> What high-powered offense? It wasn't here. I didn't see it. I want to see you NRG slam, shut I want to down. see you bang the shut desk and that was down. that was beautiful. Everything's going to fall off one day, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> but nobody expected a Jorby. I mean, NRG Turbo adding that confidence. These players all perform well online. If you get Turbo to land, is there any hope for anybody? And, and you know, obviously not not over or like not a uh, devastating thing for G2 yeah. but when you're trying to when you're trying to get a top 2 spot you know, this is this is the game that you wanted to come away and right. at least at least force 5 games and, and try to get that top 2 spot but NRG now we'll see uh, how they do for the rest of the season but they are a uh, an easy 3-0 to I mean, start out the season so adaptive you know changing their play style knowing who they're playing against and all three of them working well like like a well-oiled machine there were no problems, and they, they were great. Leaf, guys, what did you think of that match? Oh, I thought I thought it was great. Uh, you know, it seems like all the smart analysts were right on this one. So, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, why are you so sad over there, Gibbs? All right, buddy. What happened? Oh, yeah, you picked G2. I'm not sad. I'm just disappointed, G2. Like, <laughs> like a proud father. That game yeah, won. Dad, that game won. Here. We talk about, oh, this series is going to be fantastic. Then we get a clown fiesta game one there where Jay naps with that back pass. It's like, all right, it's a little bit hard, but but Chicago, he can't read it off the wall. Then yeah. Chicago hits it back into his own net almost on some other random play. See Rizzo flying for a ball where Garrett G's already in the air going for a double touch. It's Garrett G, Rizzo. He's going to hit it. What happened, G2? You blew game one. Now, games two and three, you have to give credit to energy. Played uh -huh. extremely well, but... You cannot blow a game one versus energy like that. Was yeah, it, with the way that it started, I was like, all right, Jay Naps. All right, you've been a yeah. little quiet. Good look to good, see. look He's good. Playing really yeah. well. And then all of a sudden, I'm like looking over at Gibbs each time. I'm like, Gibbs, this is great. <laughs> it's so week one, everyone's like, Chicago MVP. I think he just lost it in this series. I don't know if there's a way to battle back. Because game three, some poor defensive touch as well. This play right here, we just hits it backwards. It was a miserable series from Chicago. I called it out the first time we saw energy earlier today when they played against Birds. Turbo is just a bully. 
on the yeah. field. I mean, yeah. it's just bumping, demolishing <laughs> in their faces all the time. And it's, it was so hard for G2. It was so hard for birds. It was hard for everyone with Turbo <laughs> barreling down your face. And he got everyone uh, uh, taking him out of the play. And I mean, it opened up so much space for NRG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of us worry about G2's offense and that tandem that when they're up on offense is, if they're up there, they're yeah. fine. But when Turbo is removing any sort of formation that you have, it doesn't really come to yeah. be. So, congrats to Turbo. He really broke them down and uh, got in their heads because you could tell the panic was there anytime Turbo was moving up. Yeah, that reminded me of Season 5 when Dignitas went to seven games versus Complexity at the World Championship, and then Turbo just changed it up. Like, in that Game 7, went for demos. Then they go to the Grand Finals and get the 4-0 sweep where Turbo is just like, I'm just going to go headhunted because I know I have two teammates that can do it all. Mm -hmm. And Turbo did it again here. Huge performance from him. Well, on the excuse me, on the line right now, uh, we have Garrett G from NRG to talk about the series. Garrett, what's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> uh, no, okay, I, I just want to say, how do you feel about making Gibbs cry? Uh, he picked G two. He always he always roots against us, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the team. You know, I actually talked to Turbo earlier in the season last week, um, just about being on the team. What's it like from your perspective now, having Turbo join the team? Can you just give a rundown of uh, our TLDR of what it's like bringing him in? I mean, uh, at first it wasn't too weird. You know, we were just playing online together. Um, I think so far the weirdest thing is that you know we live together now, so it feels yeah. like I'm at a LAN 24/7 because <laughs> you know, you see Turbo Pulse every day. It's like you know, not not normal. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, obviously he's really really good. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty a pretty smooth transition, I'd say. So how does how does that help? Like, do you, do you think you know having like <laughs> yeah there he is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of turbo. Um, we get a dual interview. Yeah yeah right. Uh, but yeah no having having that land kind of feel then does that actually help you uh, in the overall run of things? Uh, I'd say. I mean, I don't think so. I think it just makes it interesting. Like mm -hmm. this has been probably the most interesting online season or else for me just because of that um you know i haven't thought about it in that way maybe you know maybe maybe it has helped me uh, stay a little bit more motivated to be honest so maybe yeah just give, been a lot of fun give us some some insight then speaking of fun to the comms because nrg has just always had some of the best comms and i think that's why you guys are so good as well on a serious side but you also know how to have fun has that changed at all with turbo in the mix <laughs> yeah i mean Turbo Turbo likes to make fun of us a lot when we mess up, so that's <laughs> definitely been interesting. Um, I don't know. In RLCS, we don't really do that as much. I think we know when to take it serious and when mm -hmm. not to, or not 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 take it serious, but have fun. I saw a lot of people commenting on his aftershock. He's been he's been, he's been screaming with that all week, so that wasn't like something you know funny to do or or like disrespect for anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a he's definitely a lighthearted guy. I think that really helped us win Summit. You know, do well at DreamHack. So uh, having him around is pretty nice. So just looking at the season, reflecting back so far, again, you guys had matches that a lot of people expected you to win, um, and they were saying, oh, Turbo's been quiet. I don't know how they're going to do against G2. Did you guys always know that you were in a good spot, or was that legitimate, you know, still working out kind of the kinks to figure out how to, you know, get everything working together? I mean, yeah, I mean, working out the kinks, I still don't think we're fully, like, meshed together. Um, I think slowly through the season, we'll start getting better and better. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, if we get the win, we get the win. It's not... It doesn't matter, in my opinion. You know, stats. If Justin wants to score every goal, let it, you know, let him go for it. Why would I make him uncomfortable and make him play different? So he knows he knows when he has to play a certain way. And you know, Turbo really stepped up and played more aggressive when he needed to. Hey, a dub's a dub. Couldn't have said it uh, yeah. better myself. <laughs> Anyways, congrats on the win. Good luck going forward, Garrett. Always a pleasure to talk. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, always, absolutely always a pleasure to, to, to talk with him. Um, you know, he's just such a positive attitude. I think now, especially with Turbo and you saw jumping in frame being like, what's up? You know, it's, it's such a good atmosphere. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great environment for those guys. And I, I love to see that, you know, he is treating it. It's like a land every day with Turbo, which is yeah. always a good time. But Gibbs, I know we mentioned the uh, Chicago versus the entire team stat, but uh, look, look at this one head time. to head. Yeah, it didn't look now that good. Now that they're not playing the birds. Yeah, that changes. Hey. <laughs> To be fair, Birds beat Space Station. Energy played Space Station in week one. Hey, so we that's not how it works. It was more game two and game three. I felt like the defense really stepped up for energy. They kind of let G2 have those midfield passes, and they were just like, we have one on the goal line and one on the back wall, and G2 just couldn't get close enough on those shots mm -hmm, to get anything mm -hmm. going. And as soon as that happened in game two, where like energy was like, just go ahead and take it to us, and G2 couldn't, they were in trouble. 
I have a lot of questions going forward for G2, especially after we'll ask this. Ask them. Let's see if we can answer them. <laughs> Why did they lose? You know, well, you saw. No, I think the biggest thing is, you know, how can they stay organized on defense? How can they generate some sort of offense when, when they're a team that we expect to have good offense? Mm. And I didn't really see that. And how can they deal with being bullied, with being pushed around, with being uh, demoed throughout a game? It seemed like they struggled with that. So the question is, how are they going to deal with it going forward now? Do we think G2 is kind of a rough spot when they're eventually going to have to face off against C9 later in, in the season? Or do you think that this is just kind of a one-off or, you know, maybe NRG is just so great uh, now that, you know, G2 is still fine, but, you know, that match was crazy. I think it's something that teams can learn from. Watching this series definitely shows that there is something exploitable about G2's or NRG's defense, and that is throwing a kick in it, you know? Demos, bumps, whatever. It doesn't allow them to get this crazy chaotic offense that everybody's so fearful of when they're hitting, you know, 14, 15 shots a game. So if you have the ability to, you know, kind of break that up with a demo or something, it is something that is going to make them weak. So finding a way to get around that, that is something that G2 now has to go back with Jazo and try to go to the drawing board and say, okay, how do we fix this? And that's the yeah. exciting part. Mm -hmm. They have to make those changes. Well, let's take a look at the standings and, or sorry, the schedule. Uh, what went down today? Uh, you know, it was some exciting matches today. Predictions kind of out the window on a few of yeah, those. It's nice, though, for NA. Once yeah. In a while for yeah. that to happen. Pulling out the EU. We saw Energy versus Birds, that clean 3-0 sweep. That was nice from Energy, mm -hmm. obviously. And then uh, after that, maybe a little bit more chaos. Like, a lot of us had Ghost, but Rogue looked flat once again. I loved Ghost. I thought Ghost looked great. And, uh, yeah, Rogue maybe didn't have another good mm -hmm. series here. But really looking forward to Ghost. I'm really looking forward to the Knights, seeing what they can yeah. do after reverse sweep of Cloud9. Mm -hmm. There are some questions where it's like, maybe we might have some people challenging the big three in NA. I don't know yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. And now we take a look at the standings. This is week two now. First week is a little hard, uh, you know, but they, they have shifted around a bit. But they're still kind of where we expect, except Ghost sitting up at number two. Yeah, it's exciting to see um, we have only one undefeated team left, NRG yeah. going 3-0, starting a big one over uh, their pretty much North American rivals at this point. But you're starting to see that gap start to spread a little bit. Uh, but that middle of the pack still as crazy as ever. Yeah, the main concern is the two at the bottom right now, the yeah. two that don't have wins. Space Station mm -hmm. and Rogue, both of them not looking good so far. Plus, they've played teams that are at their level. It's not like they've only played the big three. So big trouble for them. But everyone else, like G2, I, like, I wouldn't be worried necessarily. Probably in scrims this week, they'll probably be back and forth with energy once again. I wouldn't worry too much. It was a bad performance, but I think they'll be just fine. Well, now it is time to check in with our player of the day presented by Intel. And I think it was a bit of a debate here, but it ended up on Turbo Pulsa. The Turbo Pulsa, man. That first series, he played pretty well, but it was probably more on Justin, but that's against the Birds. But when it comes down to it, you're playing G2, and you put on a show in games two and three where you just start uh, demoing the entire team and just making plays happen in two very close games. Turbo Pulsa really stepped up for them. 100% goal participation against G2. Yeah. So, I mean, he was getting it, uh, the job done. He was removing G2 from the equation. He was setting up his teammates, and he was scoring himself. He was the whole package here for NRG against G2. Yeah. It's not just being able there to create opportunities, but he's also putting them away. He has doubled the shooting percentage of both of his teammates. And anytime there was an opportunity for him to shoot in those open nets, he did punish them. It's something that we missed desperately out of Space mm -hmm. Station. So mm -hmm. the fact that he's showing, yes, I can put them away. I can also create opportunities. He's doing it all, and that's why one player of the week. And Turbo is, he, he, well, he is back at this point. When he yeah, played yeah. with Dignitas last season, <laughs> it looked like he might be kind of slipping up. But the offseason, he looked great. And then when the big matches happen, that's when Turbo shows up and he showed up here again. And none of you guys had them on your early pick MVPs. And you yelled at me. We all had and Chicago. Look, I wasn't what part happened. of that for the... <laughs> yeah, did, girls, I'm out. Oh. It wasn't me. Hi, Justin. Is your, are your thoughts changing now, maybe? You know, we'll talk about that in the future. Okay? <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> like, I would take Chicago off the board at this point. There's Oof. still more big uh, matches to come when they play Cloud9, but that was not a good performance. And when we go down to MVP, like, it's about... Mm -hmm. When you play the teams that are, like, near the top, you have to show mm -hmm. up, and he didn't. All right, final thoughts on the day, guy. We've now seen two weeks uh, for North America. Starting to shake it up a little bit, Lawler. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, exciting stuff, obviously, all around. But don't forget, we always have more Rocket League. That yep. always goes down. South America, we've got uh, Chiefs and Renegades playing at 5 p.m. Don't miss it. It's going to be great. So OC. Here's i will talk about the big three all the time, but hey, man, Pittsburgh Knights and Ghost are making a case yeah. <laughs> like this might be the first time for a world championship 
We don't get all the big three. It's very possible that they could get some upsets. They're both playing extremely well. Excited to see how they do. The just just the season. echo the same point. The last couple seasons, I have slept a few times. And today <laughs> I slept again on Peepsburg. And today they came out and reverse swept Cloud9. I, 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 these guys continue to impress me. We thought, hey, what are they going to do after DreamHack? Well, they come out and they reverse sweep Cloud9. That's a huge win for them. I'm excited to see them going forward. There's no time to sleep when there's so much Rocket League. So let's take a look at next week for North America. Of course, we have three more weeks to go. Um, lots of crazy stuff happening. We already saw, you know, some implications here. Uh, but of course, more Rocket League this weekend starting tomorrow at 8.30 PST for the pre-show. And at 9 o'clock for kickoff, we have Europe. Some crazy matches here. I think we're looking at Veloce versus Renault, both undefeated teams going into week number two. What's going to happen? Who knows? It's EU. But I knew, do know what's going to happen. You're going to get online right now and buy some tickets to land. We're going to Madrid, Spain, EU. We're saying hello. Get on line tickets.rlesports.gg. You don't want to miss it. It's always hype. We'll see you tomorrow though. For now, I'm Lee Feck signing off. Have a good one. Now Ajax in a very tough position here. He gets help with Roll Diz as he rotates back. Garrett with a shot and it goes in for a back post. We're talking about the bees. Why? I'm not going on there. It was my birthday and you leave me. Pinch tight goals, which are not ones you can really rely on. And now the net wide open. Oh, memory. Hey, here's Lucian now on the flick. Oh, that flick. Wonder oh, can't react. Man. And he flicks it past the entire rogue defense. He won't be able to pick that one up immediately. Has to play defense now. Missed onto the backboard. Nobody's home. Here's a follow up from Reynolds, and it's in. Looking to get reverse swept in, in week two here. Not quite done yet, but that is a oh, huge win, and oh, that's it. the perfect storm. It's over. Bloody opportunity on net. I mean, I think it's going to come down to Hawkser and, and it's over. That's it. That's it. Rolled his. He just finds <laughs> the open net. Actually wins the challenge there. Maybe he can do something as typical. Too close onto the angle. Oh, what a pass. pass. Shot in a goal for Rolled his. Justin past the turbo, looking for Justin off the back wall. Has a shot, turbo, it's off the post. Where's Garrett? There he is, NRG. They take game one.